This is the Remote Work Life Business Spotlight, where I highlight top remote business innovators and share personal and career development tips to help you navigate the world of remote work. I'm your host, Alex Wilson-Campbell. I help remote work managers, professionals, and freelancers overcome isolation and uncertainty in their life to get hired and fulfill their career goals. Hey, it's Alex from Remote Work Life here. Hope you're well wherever you may be in the world. This is another episode, as I mentioned, of the Remote Work Life Business Spotlight. And this particular episode um, is one of the first that I'm going to publish on YouTube as well. So this is going to be audio as well as well as visual. Um, and this particular episode is really just to kick kick that series of, of videos off because I'm going to be publishing more and more, I think, on my YouTube channel, although that's in its infancy as things stand. But I think what I'll be doing is going to be useful for you to understand and listen to um, if you can also see what I can see, because essentially it's going to be about uh, reviewing uh, businesses that offer remote work and remote opportunities, because one of the questions and one of the, I suppose, common, common things that I hear across conversations on LinkedIn or my one-on-one -on -one conversations when, when people are looking for remote work is who are the, the bona fide, legitimate remote businesses to, to look at when you're doing your job search or looking for opportunities to freelance. So the spotlight is all about that. But as I said, having it in, vi in a visual format on YouTube, I think brings it to life. But what I'm going to try and do obviously is as I'm talking through each uh, different business, I'll try to, as much as possible, explain what I can see, explain what I'm looking at. Um, so that's the first thing. And there's another thing I wanted to mention as well before I kick off with today's business in the spotlight, which is Envision, by the way, um, is I'm launching a, a newsletter which I'm going to link to in the show notes of this particular episode, which you can subscribe to. And every Tuesday, I will send you uh, an insight, a tip from a remote work leader, remote work expert on career development, personal development, to help you along the way, to help you to understand how to get hired, to understand, to help you to understand how to thrive while working on a remote basis. And I think it gives you, it will give you a spotlight as well into the, I suppose, the inner workings of different remote businesses, how they work, how they think, how they operate. So it'll give you a bit of a head start when you're looking for your next role or just in general trying to understand about remote work. And when I say remote work, I mean there's different types of, well, different businesses offer different levels, I guess, of remote work. Some are remote first, some are remote friendly, some are fully remote, um, others are hybrid, you know, and lots of different versions. So I think, which I'm not going to go into today, one thing that you should do whenever you're looking for a remote role, you should really try to understand, you should really try and do your due diligence to understand what you're getting into and obviously ask the right questions. But as I said, I'm looking at an InVision today and you can find InVision at InVisionApp.com. As I said, look, go across to the YouTube channel to have a closer look, to understand what they do. They describe themselves as the future of collaboration. They say we're on a mission to transform the way people work together by helping them collaborate better, faster on everything from anywhere. Um, and they, they offer the product to different types of professionals. So product teams, design teams, HR teams, and marketing teams. And this, this particular business is all about design, is all about visuals. They talk about um, Envision is the visual collaboration platform powering the world's smartest companies. More than 7 million people across, the, uh, across global enterprises and small teams come to us when they're looking to transform the way they work together. That includes, that, sorry, that includes tens of thousands of organizations, including 100% of Fortune 100 companies. We exist to make every kind of work more collaborative, inclusive, and impactful so that companies can get the most out of their most, 
get the most out of their most valuable asset, their people. So that's what they're about. They have some pretty uh, well-known clients, I might say. So IBM, uh, Google, Netflix, uh, Virgin, Slack, quite a few that you may have heard of, Lyft, Zillow, HBO. And they talk about here on this particular page that I'm looking at now, the, the About Us page, they talk about their results. So uh, average increased revenue over three years, 14.4 million. Time saved per collaborator, five hours. So they're, they're selling here what they do, what they're all about. But what you really want to understand about them is, I guess, uh, their culture more than anything. So they say here for a decade, Envision has been a fully distributed company with people in more than 25 countries around the world. That's amazing. So they cover different continents. So North America, 78% of their workforce is there. 13% in Europe, 3% in Asia, and 6% other. So it's very much an international company, very much got their culture rooted in remote. So, I mean, if you're liking what you're hearing about them so far in terms of what they do, who they work with, how they work, and what they've achieved, then this might be one for you, might be one for you to look at in a bit more detail. Go across to, go across to envisionapp.com. But as I said, do your due diligence. I'm on the About Us page here. You'll also want to look at places like their news. They've got a news section at the bottom of their page. So they talk about, and I think when you're looking at the news section in their blog, you want to look for how recent their posting, how recent their, you know, their latest post was, how frequently they post as well. That gives you some sort of idea as to how, you know, how much is going on, I guess, and how much they've got to talk about what they do and how they do what they do. So yeah, have a look at the news, have a look at the blogs, to understand them a bit more, their culture. You may be able to get some videos on the blog. You may be able to see um, uh, some blogs about individuals or about different teams so you can then begin to understand a bit more about them. Um, and then you'll be able to understand if it's somewhere you could work, somewhere you could thrive yourself. This is what it's all about after all. Uh, on this particular page, on the about, sorry, on the news page, which is essentially a blog, they also link to their company, their leadership, which I'll quickly have a look at as well. When you look at their leadership, you can then begin to use something like LinkedIn to um, research individuals. So, for example, example, Jeff Chow is the chief executive officer. In fact, they link directly from their leadership page to LinkedIn, which is really useful for you to do your research. So they want you to do that background research, that due diligence yourself, so that you can understand what they're all about and who they are in reality. So that's really good to see. Um, and as I said, not all websites are like this when it comes to revealing who works there, what they do. So yeah, have a look uh, and have a look and do your research into each, each person. And then as you work through each person um, on LinkedIn, what you'll find is LinkedIn will begin to show you other people that work there. So let's say you wanted to work in the sales team. You could begin to use LinkedIn to research the sales people that work there, the business development people that work there. And when I, at the time of actually recording this, um, Envision are hiring across their engineering team, their global sales team, um, their legal team. So that gives you an idea of the sorts of people that they hire. Um, but as I said, you can do your due diligence even further by looking at the people who work there. You can see then the sort of uh, track record that they have. Is it similar to yours? Are there things about you that they don't have that they could benefit from? So yeah, there's a lot there to, to take in when you're doing your due diligence um, on different companies. And I think it's even more important to do that now because what I'm finding, what I'm seeing, especially as I said on LinkedIn and in my conversations, lots of people complaining about um, certain companies advertising themselves as remote, for example, and then when they sort of get to the interview stage or get even as far as the offer stage, they find out that um, what they're actually offering is not 
what was advertised. So yeah, do lots of due, due, due diligence. Maybe what I'll do one day uh, if on the podcast is really, um, I guess, go over the steps that I take in my due diligence when I'm doing my own career search or doing it on behalf of one of my clients. This really just is, uh, the purpose of this particular podcast was just to put a spotlight on this particular remote business in vision, which you can find at envisionapp.com. So that's it for today. I don't want to make this episode too long. As I said to you before, have a look in the show notes um, and click on the link to subscribe to my newsletter, Remote Work Life Insider. It will give you tips on how to get hired and how to thrive in a remote uh, setting. And this is all, all the information that I provide in the um, newsletter is going to be from the mouth of the people who actually work in remote businesses. So subscribe to that today. And um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. That's it for today's episode of the Remote Work Life podcast. Click the link in the show notes below to access a free list of 100 remote businesses that hire regularly. And if you're feeling stuck or uncertain on issues of career or personal development, head on over to www.remoteworklife.io where you can watch exclusive on-demand video featuring real-world remote work leaders and future of work experts on key remote work topics, including how to get clarity on your career direction, how to thrive while working remotely, how to network effectively and stay connected, and how to tend to your personal and career development needs. Go to remoteworklife.io now, and remember to connect with me, your host, Alex Wilson-Campbell, on YouTube, LinkedIn, and Facebook.